Hello clean freaks, germaphobes, and everyone in between. Today we're going to talk about the three CDC recommended face masks. I'm going to make them for you and demo them for you. The CDC recommends wearing cloth face coverings in public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. I'll put a link to the CDC's webpage so you can read through it. And I think that you should because they do update the information as things change. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step step how to make all three of the masks that the CDC gives instructions for. And at the end of the video, I'll give you some additional tips and demonstrate each one. And just so you know, these aren't medical grade N95 masks but they're better than nothing. Just remember they aren't perfect, so you should still keep at least six feet apart from other people. Don't let having a mask on give you a false sense of security. First, the two designs that don't require any sewing. I'll show you how to fold a bandana into a mask and how to make a mask out of a t-shirt. And finally, there's one that requires some simple sewing. We'll start with the easiest one first, the bandana method. I'm starting with this one because you can make it so fast literally in 30 seconds. It'll take you more time to gather the materials than to make it. If you have to grab and go, this is perfect. You don't even need scissors. Supplies needed. A coffee filter if you have one, elastic, two hair ties, or two rubber bands. That's it. The size of the bandana is 20 inches by 20 inches square. So if you don't have a bandana, you can cut this big square in whatever material you have like cotton, t-shirt material, etc. With these, you can use a rubber band, a hair elastic, or ideally elastic. Elastic is more comfortable, but it can be hard to find right now. So I use hair elastics. I have plenty of those on hand. When I checked Amazon, they did have some elastic, but they weren't shipping for weeks. But we'll put a link in the description if you wanna to check to see what shipping times are like when you're watching this. Step one, cut your coffee filter. Step two, fold your bandana in half. Step three, place the coffee filter in the center of the bandana. Then fold each side into the center so it has a tri-fold. Step four, place rubber bands or hair ties about six inches apart on the end of the bandana. Step five, fold each side into the middle and secure. Let's put it around your ear. Adjust as needed. How's that look? Great. Now I'm gonna tuck in this one. This one has the most layers and as you can tell, it's hard to understand me and it's pretty muffled. So if you have to tuck a lot, this might not be the best mask for you. But it's very comfortable to wear. I really like these hair elastics, they work perfectly. You can kind of fold, pull it out to make it longer. When you're ready to take off your mask, make sure to do it by the elastic pieces, like this. Now the t-shirt method. You can make a face mask out of an old t-shirt. Supplies needed. A clean t-shirt, but it doesn't matter if it's stained or perfect or what size it is, and scissors. That's it. I wish thrift stores were open so you could get a t-shirt cheap, but anything you have around the house works. I borrowed some t-shirts from my neighbors. Step one, cut off the bottom of the t-shirt. I measured about seven inches thick. Step two, cut out a rectangle. I like my ties to be about one and a half inches wide. Leave the full length for the ties because you'll need to fit your t-shirt after you're done. They're all different. Some are more stretchy than others, some have side seams and some don't. Plus, everyone's face size is different. Step three, cut the tie strings. You can get two masks out of most t-shirts. For a child, you might need to take an inch or more off the main part and the sides and cut the ties shorter. Okay, this is my t-shirt pattern. My ties are way too long, so I'm gonna cut those off. But just to demo that I can tie it pretty easily by myself. I can talk through it really, really easily, but if I was gonna wear this out in public, I can tell that it's very thin. It's really comfortable. I feel like I could wear it for a long time. Okay, our last CDC approved face mask is one that is made out of cotton and sewn. And it's the only one that you need a sewing machine for or needle and thread. Supplies needed. Cotton fabric with a tighter weave, or t-shirt if you have that. A sewing machine or needle and thread, and elastic, two rubber bands, or hair ties. 
All right, so I have my quilting fabric. I'm making this super girly. Um, I do have, it's harder to find men's fabric, but I do have this green fabric for my husband. But we're gonna do this on one side, these cute owls. Then for the other side, we'll do this pink. So to start with, you can just eyeball this and just use a ruler, but I'm gonna make a pattern, a really quick pattern. So I have 10 inches, and now I wanna do six inches wide. And I just cut this out. Okay, so there's my simple pattern. Step one, cut out two 10 by six inch rectangles of cotton fabric. Stack the two rectangles on top of each other, wrong sides together. You will sew the mask as if it was a single piece of fabric. If you're sewing these for medical purposes, it helps to have a different fabric on each side. That way they will inadvertently put on the dirty side of the mask. Now, because I have it lined up like this, I don't have to cut this side or that side. I saw these clips on another YouTuber's video and they are ingenious. I totally love them, but I wish that they had the smaller size. They only had this size at the store, but I'll put a link in the video description. I always prick myself with pins. Step two, fold over the long sides one quarter of an inch and hem. I want to put the right side down and have this right side up. So I'm going to fold over a quarter of an inch, both sides. I have this on zigzag, but I'm also going to move my needle so it's as close to the edge as I can get. And then just sew. Make sure that you go back stitch a couple times. All right, so there we go. And I always cut my threads off because I hate threads. Then fold the double layer of fabric over a half an inch on the short sides and stitch down. This is where you're gonna thread the elastic through. Step three, run a six inch length of one eighth of an inch wide elastic through the wider hem on each side of the mask. These will be the ear loops. They say to use a larger needle or bobby pin to thread it through, but I used a safety pin. They also said to tie your elastic, but I found that was hard to do and not waste it. So I cut it and then sewed it together. Okay, I measured this on my own ear. And now I'm gonna sew this together. So I overlapped it just some, and then I'm just gonna sew in a little box. If you don't have elastic, again, you can use hair ties or rubber bands, or use ribbon and make the ties longer so that you can tie the mask behind your head. All right, I tried it on and now I'm just gonna reinforce so it stays gathered. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the same for this side. Okay, here's my finished product and I really like it. It's cute. And so here's the other side. Let's go. This is what it looks like. And that's how it looks. I can talk through it pretty easily. I really like that it fits pretty snug, so it's not gonna, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall down at all over my nose, and it hits my chin just right. The fabric one was the hardest one, but I do like that you have different sides and we had fun with making different patterns and styles. You can have a little bit of style with your face mask. Now before we wrap up, some quick reminders. Masks are only effective when they, work, when they are tight fitting and cover your entire nose and mouth. Also know that wearing a mask is primarily to keep from getting someone else sick, even if you don't have symptoms, but it's also to help you not touch your face. It can help protect you so you don't get sick yourself, but again, it's not medical grade and droplets from cough, sneezing, or even talking can get through your mask. Touching your mask is like touching your face. So wash your hands for at least 20 seconds after touching it. Wash your mask after each use. That means you may wanna have a few masks per person in your, in your family, depending on how much you leave your house. I made one for each of us because we're not leaving very often. All these masks are for ages two and up. I've seen these masks for babies that have a binky holder. Don't do that. Babies can't breathe through them. At first, the wearing of masks wasn't advised because there was a shortage of medical grade masks. But then the CDC said the public can wear masks like the ones we made today. As of making this video, wearing a mask is voluntary. 
So depending on outbreaks where you live, it could become man mandatory. For example, residents in Riverside County, California are now required to wear face coverings and could face a fine of up to $1,000 per violation per day if they ignore this mandate. Okay, so that is our mask demo. Which mask do you want to try first? Let us know in the comments. Finally, thank you for making a mask, wearing it, and staying apart from other people. You're helping out and doing your part, and we appreciate it. Thank you everybody for watching. Remember, if you like what you saw today, subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified of all of our future videos. And don't forget to share and pin the video so your friends can see and enjoy it too. We always appreciate people sharing our videos. It helps and encourages us to keep making them. And as always, thanks for watching.